Okay, let me show you this workbench. This is the assembly. Okay, and this would uh, give you about, uh, I believe, uh, 11 centimeters. So basically, this top is uh, 3 centimeters thick, and uh, these uh, legs are uh, about 8 centimeters uh, thick, 8 by, uh, 8 by 8. And as you can see, at the bottom they have a, a dado in order to be able uh, to put them uh, on, a, on a reference surface. So basically, as you can see, this is the smallest um, uh, vise that I could find. This is a Draper one, the 150 uh, centimeters, uh, and it has about uh, 8 centimeters of uh, movement. So basically, the biggest problem with this workbench and this setup as it is, is that you can't really uh, turn this uh, easily and uh, sometimes, uh, I mean this table is pretty high uh, currently this is at about uh, one meter but uh, usually if the, the workbench that you're working on is uh, lower than that usually you need some additional space so I made these uh, legs and uh, let me show you uh, how that works Basically now uh, you have a bench that is um, 25 and a half centimeters above the work surface and uh, this can easily also be um, attached to the workbench uh, by putting some um, clamps over here. Uh, so basically you have uh, at least four options where to put uh, the where to put the, the, the clamps and now you can turn this uh, without any problem uh, there is also a third uh, height uh, possibility and uh, let me show you that one also And uh, this is the third option and uh, with this one you are about um, 19 uh, centimeters so basically 25 uh, minus the minus the eight uh, here uh, you have less possibilities uh, to clamp but uh, I guess that you could clamp it here 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 and uh, on the fourth side uh, fourth side there so basically as you can see uh, this is a pretty simple build. Uh, this is a uh, laminated uh, beach. The, the top is uh, laminated beach. These are uh, some beach uh, legs uh, that I found at a local hardware store. And uh, also, um, as you can see on the legs, I made pretty much the same setup. Uh, and uh, there is this uh, dado here so that uh, this uh, can also be uh, unclamped and unscrewed so basically even the legs can very easily be uh, disassembled and basically these ones uh, looks uh, like I guess they look like bones so basically you can see it here I put these marks here so that I can know uh, how to uh, assemble them back uh, just in case that uh, some uh, is uh, different than the other and uh, as you can see here in uh, all of these uh, in all of these holes, I put some uh, threaded uh, inserts and I really believe that uh, they are a great option to assemble something. 
and in this particular case uh, these are uh, m6 uh, hardware so basically uh, that's it uh, regarding the um, regarding the, 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 the workbench uh, let me just um, reassemble this so I can show you some uh, additional features uh, this is a pretty heavy bench uh, basically I didn't uh, weight it but uh, I guess that uh, there is about I guess at least 20 to 25 uh, kilos uh, as for the dimensions basically this is uh, 30 uh, by uh, 65 and uh, the jaws uh, the, the the closer one is about 18 millimeters while uh, the other one is uh, 24 uh, millimeters and uh, the, the one that is attached to the front uh, front jaw is um, there is a leather uh, padding inside so that uh, once you clamp something uh, it can hold uh, hold a bit better uh, besides uh, all of this in the other video you can see uh, some of the others uh, possibilities for this uh, workbench but uh, there is this uh, stop here uh, you can put it uh, you can put it there and uh, also if you don't use it you can just uh, put it uh, underneath uh, these holes are uh, 20 uh, millimeters and uh, you can use uh, with these ones uh, these um, bench dogs or uh, I made some other uh, bench dogs some brass uh, bench dogs uh, 20 millimeters that uh, you can uh, put here and then uh, clamp uh, different uh, different options so basically the the jaw uh, besides the 15 centimeters uh, of the jaw jaws the, the metal jaws itself there is a three centimeters on all both sides so in the end it turns out to be 21 centimeters uh, it can open up to uh, 8 centimeters and uh, the depth in this case is about uh, 7, uh, 7 centimeters. The front jaw is assembled uh, using these two screws uh, while the inner jaw is assembled uh, using four of these, um, four of these uh, screws. So I guess that uh, you can do pretty much uh, a lot with this and um, in some other workbench that I made so basically if you if you go to my channel and you see the the other video uh, with a similar workbench uh, so those uh, I made two of those and uh, I gifted them to some friends so unfortunately I don't have them anymore this is the one that I built first uh, that is let's say for my use and this was uh, in my apartment when I wanted to do some uh, precise or small work or uh, when I wanted to mark uh, the joinery for a future, uh, future assembly. Uh, so um, that would be uh, it. I hope uh, you, you like it. I hope uh, that uh, you can find it uh, pretty interesting. I don't have any plans. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this was built with the material that uh, I had. And uh, one additional information is this part here. So basically, as you can see, uh, in order to get uh, the depth of uh, this, uh, basically to attach this uh, this uh, vise, I had to uh, double up the, the, the work surface uh, here. So uh, initially this uh, laminated uh, beach piece was about 80 centimeters and uh, I took these um, I believe I don't know exactly but about uh, 10 centimeters plus the 65 um, in order to make this uh, let's say reinforced part so that I could assemble uh, assemble the, the, the bench vise and as you can see also here there are these uh, three holes uh, to accommodate uh, the, the bench uh, screws and uh, also the, uh, 
these uh, these bolts and uh, everything else. These are uh, wood bolts, uh, nothing uh, nothing spectacular. So um, I hope uh, that uh, you will be able uh, to make it. And uh, let me just show you some of the possibilities uh, of uh, of this workbench and uh, what I use it the most for. Thank you. 